damn knuckle busting fucking son of a fuck. We wish this episode was about some cool upgrade or modification, but unfortunately, it's about a repair, but a very important repair the front brakes. Brakes do come in handy. Yes, they do. For the past few hundred miles or so, our rig has been pulling hard to the right when clamping on the binders. This suggests to us that we're experiencing a common problem, a hung up caliper piston. So, today we're going to be replacing both front calipers. This is a good time to practice using our high lift jack. Now these can be extremely useful out on the trail doing many things, but they can also be incredibly dangerous. In the comment section below the video, we've provided a link to a great tutorial on how to use one safely. Probably the most important safety tip we can give you for using one of these is never ever put any body part within the Triangle of Doom. We recently replaced the rotors and brake pads, so those should be good. However, we still have the original rubber brake lines. And since rubber over time can become brittle and crack and stretch out, we decided we want to replace those just to be safe. Now before doing any work on hydraulic flare nuts, get yourself a set of these flare nut wrenches. Instead of hitting only three corners of the nut, these hit five, making it much less likely of rounding it over. They have the slot here that goes over the line, and they get really nice and tight. So with one of these, some PB blaster for a couple of days, maybe this, and a lot of luck, they might just come loose. Dear Lord baby Jesus, please don't let me snap this off. <sighs> a couple of bolts hold the caliper to its bracket. We're replacing our calipers with just standard uh, remanufactured units, nothing fancy here. We don't plan on doing any desert or rally racing anytime soon with our FJ, so these will do just fine. Now these are our new brake lines. We had them custom made out of braided stainless steel, two inches longer than stock. Um, on a three inch lift, longer lines aren't required, but we don't ever want to take a chance of ours acting as limit straps. Now we have to bleed the air and all of the old fluid out of the system. Okay, key on. Key on. Pump. Holding. To the floor. Pump. This episode was about. You ready? No, I'm not comfortable. We wish this episode was about some cool upgrade. What? <laughs> we wish this episode was about some cool upgrade. Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it's about a repair. The front, but God damn it! Again. So close.